Someone's asked, does hustle have consequences? Let's untangle that now. Hustle and working to a very high pitch with a very high intensity with, with no, no holding back has a few consequences. One of which is um, you burn out. So you have to find a way to, re to replenish the internal energy that powers the hustle. Like no one can, can hustle on an empty stomach, on an empty mental reservoir. So what do you do that will refill your, your capacity to hustle is important because all hustle does is drain your capacity. Uh, the number two thing that hustle does is it gets in the way of personal relationships, right? Because if you're out to conquer the world, what about your significant other? What about your family, your parents, or people that are depending on you? Well, they're like being left to fend for themselves, or at least even if they're provided for men materially, then mentally are they provided for by you? Are you there to like, support them, to be the shoulder to cry on? Maybe you're out hustling in your office until 11 p.m., good for you, but maybe they needed to tell you something about how their day went and you weren't there, so you, you didn't come through on that. So that's a trade-off. Maybe you, like, you can't let them be a burden on you because you gotta build this thing, you gotta go and do this, and they just have to, they just have to tell that story about what happened to them to somebody else. Or maybe you are the person they were hoping to tell it to. Those are the trade-offs that are, there's no formula for how to do this in life. I do think without hustle, it's impossible to succeed. But I also believe that without people around you, it's equally impossible to succeed. So you have to make sure to do both. Make sure that the people around you are happy and that they love you and you love them. And then when you have that base secured, you can go and conquer the world.